Hello everyone, and this is the second Demcurse tutorial. And today we will be looking, as you can probably see from the past, various methods of outputting with with Emcursors. Um This won't be entirely. Well, this just won't be a hundred percent of what's actually there, because there's various other co more complex things which you need to understand before using some of the other ones. So this will be the basic ones that you will mostly use. So we'll obviously open up this. I should really put the boilerplate in to begin with, but I won't because obviously it adds to your understanding of how to write AC program with end cursors. Now, one thing I didn't state in the original episode is that we're just going to be we're not going to be using any help functions or anything like that on the side. We're just going to be using it box standard code unless it's absolutely necessary because you should already know that from the C tutorial I've already done. And it also helps cut down on the complexity because all I'm doing is explaining ideas. So to begin with, as you probably saw, we have print w, which is like this. And what this does is it outputs the just any old any old stuff. So it'll output the it just It'll output a string exactly where the cursor is, no movement, none of that. Um, then we've also got another one called add char. And this this is a bit different to print w because if you want to type print a character, you don't actually need to do that percentage d thing like up here. I should probably demonstrate that really, so I'm gonna create an integer up here, just call it make it equal to say so three or four even down keyboard so obviously I put it like that um so yeah so these are the basic two that you'll most of mostly be encountering throughout I also probably initialize the um the library before I start typing these but either way you get the idea it's it's not compiled so it won't matter, you can just type that in later. So remember, this is for outputting strings in the same way as printf, and this just writes charts to the screen like the similar one under the regular std look. And then there's the movement variables, uh, variants. So we have move here, which is quite important, and what this generally is, is it moves the cursor, the cursor you see moving around on here to wherever on the screen and this is very this is very important to remember this point here the very first parameter is y and then the second one is x now don't ask me why I do this why they do this but it's what they did and I think it's probably some technical limitation although someone in the comments will no doubt let me know why so this moves the cursor around but you don't always have to type in move and then followed by print w or add char to move something elsewhere. So to demonstrate how we both move and print a string, we type mv print w. Don't forget we type the y value first. So say we want to go to the fifteenth, fifteenth row, no fifteenth column even, um, and the twentieth row, and type say. I'll do that. And the same is obviously true for add char. Now this particular one is actually incredibly useful for writing things like Roblox because you can easily move it based on variables very quickly. So so we want to move that to I don't know, maybe say twelve. And type in the letter uh, at uh, there we go. It's very important to put the sketch R at the end, otherwise it will just skip through and end the program. And we'll and we'll compile it like we did last time. Uh, GCC dash O, say so call it. Um, yeah. So and then cursor. Sorry, I thought I might have I might have been putting it in the wrong order. So then we go output. We'll demonstrate. It. So as we see up here the types of string and followed by the letter 
the um rather the the integer as I mentioned, and print a because obviously at that point the cursor hasn't moved whatsoever, so it'll still be there and it'll type the a right next to it, and then it typed movement, and so and then it moved over here and printed the at sign. Now note that the cursor has stayed there, which just shows how it's reached the end of where it's outputting, and we just press enter and it's done. So. Thanks for listening to this tutorial, I hope it's been educational, and next time we will be looking at an interesting thing called attributes, which, allow your, which allows your stuff to look more funky. Uh, thanks for watching, and like, subscribe, and all of that, if you wish. Um, thanks for watching, and I'm glad you enjoyed it. Bye now.